Anyone who uses a desktop printer will be familiar with a blocked printer head causing the printer to produce prints with a strong colour cast, banding or loss of detail. People assume this is caused by the ink clogging, but this is incorrect. What has actually happened is the ink has dried on or in the printer head itself. When this happens, users normally try to fix the issue by running multiple cleans via the printer utility. This will make it worse. The excess ink used in this process will dry on the underside of the head, adding to your problems. And it uses a huge amount of ink. Doing back-to-back -back cleans will empty an entire set of Epsom cartridges very quickly indeed. Unfortunately, users have no reliable way of quickly cleaning dried ink or curing printer problems, which have resulted from ink dried inside the printer head until now. Until recently, the product I'm going to show you was not available to the public. It was only used by printer technicians. It does not contain IPA or any other chemicals that will arm your printer head. Magic Bullet is a specially formulated surfactant that breaks ink particles down very quickly or without causing any damage to your printer. For this demonstration we have an Epsom R2400 with a blocked head. This printer has not printed for over 6 weeks and it's evident from this test print that some of the nozzles are blocked. Let's see how we can quickly fix this with Magic Bullet. First we remove the cartridges. I have already done this prior to filming to save time. Next we press the ink cartridge change button and remove the power cord from the rear of the printer. This allows us to move the cartridge older carriage freely. Looking down into the carriage, we can see the ink exit ports. It's these ports which lead directly to the printer head. We take a paper towel and fold it to make a small pad. This will absorb the excess ink. We gently slide it under the head like so. Next, we take our syringe and fill it with the Magic Bullet cleaning solution. We carefully place the tube over the ink exit ports and we gently squeeze about 1 to 2 millilitres through the head using light pressure. If your printer is really badly blocked, you can squeeze through 1 millilitre, leave it for 30 minutes to soak, and then inject the further 1 mil. We'll continue this process with all the other channels. When we are finished, we replace our cartridges. We then proceed to do a nozzle check. As you can see, this is now perfect.